What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we'll be discussing the top certificates to get you a cybersecurity job in 2025. So cybersecurity is actually one of the few industries where you can do some self-study on your own and get one of these certificates and actually get an entry level job. I think certificates are a great way to show companies that you're committed to learning outside of work and that you can actually complete something that you start. But before we get started here, make sure you guys subscribe down below. As you guys can see, over 99.7% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed. I would really, really appreciate if you took the time to subscribe. Really hoping to get some good content out there for anyone interested in cybersecurity. All right, back to the video. So the first certificate we're going to talk about, of course, is going to be the CompTIA Security Plus Certificate. If you've been doing your research on cybersecurity, you're definitely going to be knowing about this one. And even in 2025, I'm still going to say this is the number one certificate anyone could get as far as an entry level position. So this is going to establish your core knowledge in almost any cybersecurity role. CompTIA is also a very highly accredited program. And like I've said before, their Security Plus is by far their most popular product. So some of the jobs you could be looking to get after you get the security plus certificate are cloud slash network engineers, security engineers slash analysts, security administrator, and many more. The median salary of any employee with this certificate is also $84,000, which is amazing for an entry level position. So the next certificate I'll be talking about is the Certified Information System Security Professional or CISSP. The CISSP is a little bit more advanced. It covers the entire cybersecurity field in a lot more detail from security to risk management to network security and security operations. I would say this is like the all-encompassing information on cybersecurity certificate. I was actually scrolling through LinkedIn and Indeed the other day looking at some of these roles and there are so many that specifically in their preferred qualifications have this referred in the job posting. So definitely one that's highly accredited. The only thing I will say about this certificate is you do need a little bit of experience in order to fully obtain this. I'm not sure if there's actually a hard years of experience requirement, but this is definitely not an entry level one, but that doesn't mean that it's not impactful for 2025. Some of the job outcomes that you could get with this certificate are security consultants, cybersecurity architects, and chief information security officers. The median salary for this certificate is about $112,000. All right, so the next certificate we'll be talking about is the CompTIA Network Plus certificate. I told you CompTIA was pretty accredited. And here you go with another CompTIA certificate. The Network Plus certificate is specifically tailored for troubleshooting, maintaining, and operating networks. So this certificate validates that you actually have the skills to configure and manage both wired and wireless networks. I would say this certificate is really good for anyone who's trying to get into any cloud or network role. So some of the jobs to look out for with this certificate are systems engineer, cloud architect, network analyst, or computer technician. The median salary for this certificate is $77,000 a year. All right, so this next one is the one that I am most interested in obtaining and most excited to talk to you guys about, and that is going to be the Certified Ethical Hacker Certificate, or the CEH. I'm super excited about this one because if you haven't seen in my previous video, which I'll link above, I really do believe ethical hacking or becoming a white hat hacker is going to absolutely explode in 2025. Just with the demand of computer programming and the rise of data, I think the I think companies are going to heavily invest internally with ensuring that their data is secure. So the CEH certificate develops your current programming skills and helps you tailor, kind of like I stated before, into a white hat or a commonly known like ethical hacker. So this cert is going to prepare you for addressing a company's like network infrastructure and identifying vulnerabilities that a black hack uh, that a black hack that a black that a black hat hatter that a black hat hacker. Jeez, that's a mouthful can exploit. Some of the jobs that you could get with this one are penetration tester, security engineer, forensic computer analyst, and cybersecurity analyst. The median salary for anyone with this certificate is about $135,000 the highest salary on this list that we have. So definitely a good one to look out for. Okay, our last one is going to be another entry level one that you could start right now. And that's gonna be the Cisco Certified Network Associate or the CCNA. So the CCNA proves that you have the ability to get any job in IT, honestly, not specifically in cybersecurity. Uh, you're gonna learn about networking, IP services, automation, uh, security fundamentals, and a lot more. Like I said, I would consider this one entry level. So this one is good to have on the resume if you're really trying to get into cybersecurity. Some of the jobs are gonna be be entry level network engineer, network support technician, or help desk technician. The median salary for anyone with this certificate is about $85,000 a year. Not too shabby for an entry level position. So that's going to be our list for today as far as the certificates that you're going to need to know about for 2025. I'm going to list the links of all the certificates I mentioned below and any study aids that you guys could buy right now to help you guys out. As always, comment down below and let me know if you guys have any certificates that I didn't mention or anything else that I need to talk about. And what are your thoughts about cybersecurity moving into 2025? I would love to hear about it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. As I said, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys later with another video.